We are very ecstatic to report that Sherry Papini has been located and has been reunited with her husband and family on this day of Thanksgiving. A day of Thanksgiving indeed. After being reported missing for more than three weeks, Reading woman Sherry Papini is found alive. I'm happy to say that Sherry is now safe and she has been treated at a area hospital outside of Shasta County and for non-life-threatening injuries. At a press conference in Reading Thursday, Shasta County Sheriff Tom Basango announced Papini's safe return. It's a story that's made national news. The young wife and mother disappeared while going for a jog on November 2nd. Suddenly, Thanksgiving morning, she was found. She was released by her captor on a rural road near I-5 in Yolo County. Basenko says Papini was somehow bound, but was able to flag down a passing driver on Yolo County Road 17 around 4.30 Thursday morning. Her husband Keith was immediately responded down to the area and is remaining at Sherry's side. Now that Papini is safe, Basenko says the detective search turns to her captors. They are still devoted to the case and will not rest until her captor or captors is identified and brought to justice. While authorities say they don't know who took Papini, they have a starting point provided by Papini herself. We're looking for a dark colored SUV with two Hispanic females armed with a handgun. And while the case remains open, police and the community are breathing a sigh of relief that Papini is safe with her family. Something that Basenko says can strike a chord with anyone. On this day of Thanksgiving, please remind your family and those close to you how much they are appreciated and loved. Sheriff Basenko says the community should remain on high alert until her captor or captors have been arrested. Authorities are still asking for your help in the case. If you have any information, please contact police. And NBC5 has been following this case since the very beginning. You can find the latest developments on our website, Facebook page, and Twitter.